everybody, it's Vampire Chicken, the Grandmaster at the Game of Risk, back with the best settings that you are not playing. And every time that we do play these settings, here's the important fact. You have to play with the yellow troops, just in case you take the sun. It is not looking likely that I'm taking the sun, which is, I'm now regretting having yellow, because the whole time I'm going to think that I'm blue. But this is what you're missing out on, okay? You should be playing this more. It's Capital Conquest on Orbital Objectives. It's progressive. It's basically the meta settings, but on the space map. And the reason that these are so cool is that every map is actually kind of a sneaky, snowball-y kind of situation, where much like... Uh, when you play a Trigons map or a Spaceport Sigma map, you kind of dominate one area and you can expand out very quick. This is like that, only because of the blizzards, you never know where that area is going to be. And so it's kind of like the area that is the honeypot constantly changes every single time that you play it. And every single game is a completely different, unique opportunity. Now... <laughs> No, 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 no. How do we handle this? So this is actually horrendous. We do see a couple different caps over here. Um, These blizzards, I mean, they make it so fascinating, don't they? Like, I, would, I don't know. I'd love to cap here so that I could take this. But then green is back there. And I guess they would win this and then eventually win my cap. This is going to be the world's dream Uranus. Many people have dreamed of such a bit. Revenge! Okay, come and get me, bro. Come get me. He can hit that and definitely win it. And then my hope is that I can come over the top. If he gets a bad roll on that five, consider yourself blasted, my man. I'm not joking. I don't know what cap I should actually pick that's better than that. And I hear you. Oh, you should pick literally any other one. Well, I mean, bro... I could have gone behind green too, which so then green would have hit this. But we have to go for the plus two. Oh my God, he just hits my four. What the heck? I wish I had capped behind you. If I knew you were gonna be this psycho, why didn't you just clear this out? Oh my God, he's going to, he might fail this. If he fails this, he could be in trouble. Ah, he puts a four on cap. Oh, he removes me from there so I can't do anything. No, he's still attacking. Okay, the backup plan is to steal the green cap, which is better. What the heck, bro? Put the either hit me or go back to your cap. What kind of turn is this, dude? Teeper two gruel. What are you doing, bro? You had like a winning capital. You just had the plus four, the moons. Bro doesn't even defend it. What the heck? What could he have on this cap? Nothing, right? Why is green throwing so hard? What the heck? General Patton has the white troops. We don't know where they are. Okay, we do not know where white is, but anybody that sensibly did stuff over here is missing out on all the fun. Let's see what Gonzo is going to do. He starts with five. This is not 100%, right? Nine on five, he could lose everything. He's going to go for it. Oh, my God. He's going to go for it. Oh, my God. He's going to do one slow roll. Oh, he gets horrible dice. He gets horrible dice. I'll get toasted, get toasted. Oh, I did it again. I'm gonna win Uranus. Yes, <laughs> I get the sweetest double cap Uranus, baby. Green, what are you reacting to? You saw none of that. Oh, actually Green, I guess maybe he is paying attention. He's seeing that, I don't know, nothing's happening. We win, the battle is mine, victory. I could go steal the green cap, but come on, bro. <laughs> that is mine yes victory is mine victory now here's the thing i guess i set up to go for earth next right is that what i'm trying to get next is that next on the agenda let's put these guys here off cap because we can we can start working on earth Look at that if you haven't seen this before this is the greatest setup you'll ever see this is tantamount to dominating a double cap Iceland or something in Europe advanced. This is the meme bonus. I don't know why exactly. You can let me know in the comments below. But we have fully taken control over Uranus. And from there, this mighty plus two will be able to destroy everybody. The other bonuses, it's a lot of plus threes. There are some plus twos, plus fours. And I actually love the fact that there's a variety of different... Uh, 
<clears throat> different types here. What are you doing in here? Blue's Blue's not really in here. Stuart the Minion. Okay, as you see fit. Uh, the fact that there's like some plus twos, plus threes, plus fours, you can kind of deduce and figure out where people are based on uh, what they end up getting, right? Like if you get plus uh, seven on the start of your turn, maybe you got a plus two bonus. If anybody's getting plus eight, you know they got a three point bonus and you can kind of look at the list and try to like work it out. Red adds into here, what's your problem? General Seta, get away from, bro, I'm hitting this. I don't care what you put here, bro, I'm hitting it. He literally added a troop here? What's the, what's your problem? Watch he's capped right here or something? Now, I don't really know where anybody is. I know where green is. Green is gonna take this. I just think based off of green's first turn, they're not like a serious long-term threat. But I feel like we could have messed up their day. But obviously we had to take full control over Uranus. Now instead, <clears throat> we'll see green take this next bonus. Green is gonna be humongous. So that is somebody to watch out for. And I'm telling you, it's a snowball map. And this could be green doing the snowballing. Okay. <clears throat> like, if they keep hitting this stuff, they're going to be weak. They're going to keep going. Uh, I'm not blue. I was thinking, like, I can come back in on them. But I think we take full control over Earth. Earth is a plus four. If we can get all of Earth, we're going to be doing very good. White gets seven. So white either took a cap or they have a plus two. So it could be Neptune. Like, I might already know where he is, right? I've never seen this, but because he's getting seven, either he has a cap or he has Neptune. Like, that's it. Those are the only options. I got this other plus two. And there's only two plus twos. So if he's got seven, it's a cap or he's got this. Now, the math is going to break down when you see what I get. Because this is not your ordinary plus two. It has two caps in it. It's basically a plus six. So I get nine per turn, right? That should be pretty good. Oh, black starts with three. Let's see if they... They have bought it out! Yeah, sorry, Gonzo. You really are Gonzo today. Gone from this game, at least, that is. And we'll see what they uh, they happen to come up with. Eight cap is still strong for the, the current moment. Bot might get strong on this side if the bot's randomly taking caps. Who would even care? I hope the bot does get big and strong and messes with people before the trade-ins matter. So 8-cap is fine with me. Red? No, bro. This is for me. Get out of Earth! And give me this one-point hold right here. Oh my god, and we can see blue. So that's why blue went that way. Let's just massively aggress blue. Now I have Earth. I got double-cap Uranus. You're getting plus 8, so they do have this. They have the satellites and space stations. So they have a cap, they have three from territory, and then they have the plus three. So we know that blue has this entire bonus. And hopefully they try to hit us. Oh, they're going to try to take this bonus over here. Ah, that's no problem. Green is definitely going to remove that at some moment. I don't think that we're going to need to worry about it. Um, but we know that blue has a cap. And they're going to keep it very strong, which is wise. Which is wise. I might try to be good neighbor with blue. I don't really want to fight them. So maybe I keep a stack right here in the sun, and then we can start painting the sun a pretty a pretty yellow color. Wait, here comes red. Red actually wants this. Red's gonna hit me. Are they gonna leave a nine there? I have to take a card there. I basically have to take a card there. They're trying to take the sun. They are literally trying to take the sun. They're like warning me, don't hit my sun. But bro, starts with eight. So they probably have a, do they have a plus three somewhere? It's not here. Is it, it it could it can't be this Jupiter. It could be Mars. I think red is here and white is here. That would make enough sense. So the cap is probably here because it's the best cap. Green is getting 12 now. Green is in this general area. And they're gonna keep expanding. And I hope that they remove blue from here. Okay. I wanna actually be nice with blue, because I'd rather blue be able to go into other people that are not me. <clears throat> I'm going to try to show blue that I'm chill. I'm not going to be so chill with, with red. But I think red is here, and he's trying to take the sun. But bro, you should have picked yellow. If you wanted the sun so bad, you should have had the yellow troops. Seven for white, quite possibly. Neptune, the plus two. So maybe we'll see white pop out over here. Maybe they're going to go into Saturn. Hard to know. But we probably don't see whatever they're doing, especially if they just take a card and pass. They're happy. No, okay, they're not happy with... Plus two, they want a little bit more. Yeah, okay. So now they're conquering this. So they want Mercury. So this will be a plus six for white. They have like an 11 on cap. Uh, bot is going to knock me out of here. 
And then, okay, the bot is going to be weak. It's going to be a while before the trade-ins, I believe, actually matter. So we're just going to chill. Uh, I'm going to have a strong cap. But I'm actually going to come out this way. I know red wants the sun, but consider yourself toasted. And I'm just going to leave a two here, showing blue, that I do not want them to break my bonus. But then I am actually chill. I want blue to know I'm chill with them, because I am. Stuart the minion. Let's take dominion over all of this. Looks like they're going to attack me. I don't think blue should go to war with me. It is easy for me to come break their bonus and ruin them. Just have to get through a little bit of the sun. I just want to paint the sun a pretty yellow now. Now that we've got the dream. And let's see. How much did red start with? Sorry, I, I froze for a second. I had, <laughs> in the back of my mind, I just remembered that I... I need to help do some preparation for my wife's lunch tomorrow. She had some ingredients. She left it on the counter. She told me right before the game started. And I, in my head, I'm like, where is it? I got to go put the Tupperware away in the fridge. But we're fully focused, okay? This is not the kind of thing you can just sleep on. We're, we're fully focused. We're alive and we're feeling great. I think green is going to come this way before he comes this way into the sun. If I wanted to mess with green, I could. I'm a friendly, good neighbor-y kind of guy, okay? Green, I mean, he hit me a lot to take his bonus, but that's whatever. I got a lot of bonus. Green, you got a lot of bonus. I'm happy just, just chilling with everybody else. I think green is going to overextend and then get into some sort of war based on what it, the way that I've seen green play. It looks like blue is actually going to be chill with me, which is fantastic. I'm going to keep defending my cap and then keeping a big position here. Um... I don't see any need to go to war with any of my competitors at this moment. White has managed to expand here. At some point, green is going to be here. So maybe green and white are going to get into some sort of conflict. I would love if blue was, you know, doing something somewhere else. But I think blue is just going to be like a good neighbor. Seems like everybody's mad chilling. Cool. Which is not how this normally goes. Usually it's all noobs. I suspect we're in a mildly higher ranked lobby than normal. Even Black who picked this cap, like that, I mean, Black could be a grandmaster, like whatever, he just picked a cap and then some idiot cap behind them and he tried to get it and he failed. You know, like it still could be possible. Uh, I'm gonna match what Blue has on their capital and I'm chill. Okay, let's get a little bit more vision and that's it, that's all we need to do for now. I know that other people are going to end up in, in conflict. Blue still has this bonus. They do break me. Okay, so blue wants blue wants to go to war. Okay. Okay, bro. Blue wants to go to war with me. I think that's surprising. So now we'll go break blue's bonus. Oh, here's a text from the wife. Oh, the Tupperware is by the chest of drawers. I looked everywhere else. Oh, she's probably right. <laughs> I was looking everywhere. There's Tupperware. We got lunch that needs to be... Oh, my God, Blue. Get smoked. Ah, red goes into blue. <laughs> Take that, Blue. Yeah, red's my best friend. Show Blue what's up, man. Show Blue what's up. All right, let's card block blue, maybe, or make blue hit us if that's how they want to handle it. Blue goes into me and then red blasts into blue. Get toasted. Meanwhile, if you guys don't mind, green's just going to be taking all of this. So now, what usually happens in this situation, I attempted to be good neighbor with my neighbor. If we both stayed strong, we could fight whoever is going to snowball. If you fight somebody and that's not the strongest... The strongest guy takes advantage of it. So now me, red, I mean, red and blue and me and we're all, everybody's fighting blue. I mean, <laughs> it's just this, this game is about to take a huge green twist. However, green, I think will need to go into white unless they actually want to chill and be in the sun. And they go right into white. Yep. Get, <laughs> get forgotten about. I don't know what I was going to say. I got Tupperware on my brain. Sorry, I'm Tupperware brained today. It was on the chest of drawers, you guys. Of course it was. Okay, white got broken here by green, and green is huge. Uh, good luck fighting green. Good luck. I'm not going to help you. I'm busy fighting blue right now. I'm going to try to make blue. Oh, green sticks out the tongue. <laughs> oh, what's wrong, white? Are you unable to defeat green because obviously he's way bigger? Yeah, obviously. So green is going to get into a fight with white. I want to dominate this sector. 
I know red is fighting blue. Blue's going to know that I'm fighting blue. And we'll see how it goes down. Hey, black's still hanging in there. Black is a bot, though, but they're still hanging in there. Green is shocked about something. Is it the fact that the bot is still around? It's not that shocking. We don't kill the bot yet. Uh, maybe I don't go full crazy on blue. Maybe blue regrets what they've done. I'm not going to go full crazy on blue. You thought I was going to put my whole stack here? I'm going to leave a nine there. And I'm going to say thanks. And if you want to hit a nine, I mean, you're crazy. <laughs> he just got hit by red as well. Oh my god, they're going to hit me. This might have been their only chance to get a card. Oh, they're just going to slam all of me. Why did they do this? Wow. What an insane roll. Lost eight hitting a 19? What? They lost six hitting the nine. They lost eight hitting a 19? Is that like the best roll possible in Balanced Blitz? What the heck? Okay, so blue is like actually gonna like be able to kill me. They should have got such a bad roll that I could kill them with my turn in. Like I was expecting, if they hit me, I assumed that they were just gonna die. Like if they lost 19 hitting this, they did a 22 on 19 and they lost eight. They should have like three troops on their cap right now and I should be able to kill them. Oh my God. Okay, white's mad at green. Okay, that makes enough sense obviously. And I get blue actually wants to kill me. I don't know why. Like, I honestly don't understand why. I could not have been nicer to blue. I left just the two and I showed immediately like I didn't want to fight them. And they got full slammed by red as well. And then they just massive double slammed me. Like maybe red had a stack here. So this was their only card. But then they went just they're like, I full slam that guy. Okay, white gets eight. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So white is, like, failing to mess with green. Green's obviously huge. I mean, come on. Green's getting 16, but this is slowing green down. He ran into to white. We'll see if white can somehow fend him off while the rest of us just fight over earth and all this stuff. Because now I'm going to, like, hit blue, but then also, like, the other guy's going to hit blue. Green is always shocked when it's black's turn. I don't know why. I mean, this could be all of black, but we're not killing black yet. Hmm. Wait, I have to take a card here. This is my only card. Oh, no, it's not. It's not my only card. Um, okay, we do have to turn in. Okay. I mean, okay, then they're going to turn in and they're going to hit the... The problem is that they're just going to turn in and then they're going to hit that. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'll just let blue open me up. So blue is going to open me up. Maybe I can kill black, but that's not what we're setting up for. If blue opens up my cap, then great. I know that they have a turn in, so I'm not going to go for this yet. Oh my god, they are just going to full go for me. Wow, they just opened my cap right away. They just want beef with me for no reason. I don't even understand. I was chill with you. We could have worked together. I really don't understand. <laughs> it makes no sense to me. I'm pretty sure this guy is a grandmaster. Hopefully red goes and fights blue still. Red is the most uncontested. So I'm at war with blue. White and, white and green are in a fight. Black is a bot. So the most uncontested player is red. If red actually is chill with white, he's doing it very well. If red does go into white... Oh, it goes into green, maybe? Oh! Ho, ho, ho. Oh my god, he's doing a lot, dude. Wow, he's doing a lot. Okay, if I get a turn in before blue, can I kill them? <laughs> I don't have a turn. If I get a turn in on the next turn, I'm going to try to kill blue, obviously. Green turns in for 20. Does green still have everything? They do, 16. So red like came. They have like some big stack that's like completely off cap. They got something silly going on. Green obviously has some silly stuff going on. But if we don't get rid of blue, we cannot, we just can't actively join the rest of the game. Okay, white just has this. I bet their cap is on this side. I bet white's cap is here, otherwise green would have broke it. So red probably took Saturn, and that's why white was like, rrr, rrr, rrr. So red is actually going to be very strong. Because they're out of the most direct conflict. 
Okay, we can kill Black now. He doesn't know. He, he's trying to kill Black, but he's not strong enough. This also means White is probably weak. So we can kill Black. If we can kill Black, we can kill Blue. Black ends up on four cards. Green is laughing at him. I think it's a respectable play by White. He didn't know how big he was. So it's nine troops. Yeah. So let's go for that. Okay. Now, can we kill blue? That would be delightful. The answer is most likely yes. Hmm. There's more blue somewhere, huh? Interesting. <laughs> There's more blue somewhere. Oops! I didn't know there was more blue anywhere. Now blue will come try to get me. You can understand why I wanted to kill Blue, though. You can understand. Let's see if they can come up and find me. Where are you, by the way? You must be back here. Were you fighting with Red as well? Ah, you're in here. You've bought it out. Okay, so Blue has bought it out. I don't think there's any reason for White to come fight me, unless he thinks he can kill me. But how would he know that? Also, he's been fully removed from the sun. Red will expand in my general direction. But hopefully he's chill. He, how much? He's only getting 15. Only 15. Red is probably not going to be so chill. The problem is green, though. Let's hit him with one of these. I got, a, I, got, I got cards, bro. Don't mess with me. I got cards. Let's be chill. Let's all fight green. Nice. Well played. Okay. He's just leaving stuff on cap. Okay. Wonderful. 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 Okay. We're still in this. No sweat. If red is actually chill, maybe we can go fight green. Red doesn't hit me because I have five cards, which I think is fine. If red, white, and I, we all team on green, we can we can defeat this guy. But you guys have to also let me be super duper mega huge. That's part of the plan, okay? Remember, I get to be super duper mega huge. I, I am going to reinvest in defending all of my capitals. It's possible white is, like, weak enough. It's possible somehow I can, like, kill white here and, and do some crazy stuff. Because green must be hitting white like a ton, right? My best guess is that green is hitting white a ton. What else could be happening here? What else would green do with a turn in? What does white start with? I'm also going to start paying a lot more attention to this leaderboard because it might start changing on a couple of these trade-in turns. Right now the leader has three. I have two. And white does not have one. Yeah. If white doesn't have a turn in, we, we go try to get him. He does have a turn in. So we... The real play is probably to try to kill white when they have, like, three cards. But green will probably get there first. Or white is slamming green. And there is some psycho opportunity here to go into green now, who just slammed white but failed. I honestly wonder if green is insanely weak. White is doing everything to kill green. Do I just... Full send into green? Can you imagine? Can I kill green? Green just used their entire trade in and they hit white. White is retaliating. We can probably kill white. Into killing green, into winning this game? I don't know. I'd rather kill white first to be a homie. Oh, there's so much blue. Let's give that to red. Uh, no, the psycho kill on green was not there. <laughs> you were curious. Anyways, here's all of blue. Here's all of blue. I could have been a hero. Imagine if I was the hero that valiantly took down blue. Uh, it wasn't possible to kill white either, which was surprising. So green was the right one to go for. Now blue is the right one to go for if red doesn't kill us. But white now knows that I'm a homie. That's what's important, okay? Because <laughs> it was at least fun. We at least had a little bit of fun. We give this to red. And he just takes it. Okay, red is actually just kind of big chillin', I think. Does he take the kill on blue? That's very good. It's only for two cards. It's not going to set him in. 
I'm also very chill with him. Looks like he's going to take blue for two cards. He's not going to get a trade in. Okay. But he's going to leave me alone for a little bit. Red is playing this brilliantly. And we're all, you know, everyone else kind of goofed around. Mostly me. It's possible I could have had a stronger turn on my last turn. It's possible. Not entirely sure. That's all of green, maybe. Wait, he doesn't take the kill on green. He does go for me. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so red is targeting me now because I didn't get to kill green. White is going to kill green. Okay, shouldn't 24 on 14. Okay. But red now has four cards. Do I have a trade-in? Uh, I'm mildly fine with a trade-in. Without a trade-in, this could be tough. Green has bought it. <clears throat> White will get the kill on green. They'll get a trade in right away. So red could have taken the kill on green, but missed it. White will get the kill on green. And then can I get white to work with me to fight against red? That's kind of what we need. Should take the kill on green. I would fully expect it. He doesn't. Wow. 13. Why doesn't he take the kill on green? Okay. Is this not it? He missed it. Weird. Okay. Wild. He missed that kill. I'm very surprised. Now, red is huge. Red's going to get, like, an insane amount. Um... But I... Hopefully, I can... I can do a lot of big things. I think white will understand. We'll put these guys here, I suppose. Let's see if we can work with white to fight this guy. He's getting 29. You know, I could have done more to break him, but I want to see what white does. I also just want a really strong cap so he can't do anything now. I think he's going to go in and he's going to mess with white. No. Is he just going to hit me? Okay, he is going to hit white, right? Or is he just going around white to fight me? No, he is taking out white from there. Okay. Can I work with white to fight this guy? Because I could also kill white. If I don't think white is going to work with me. I don't know what white would do, though. My seven is actually misplaced. I didn't know white was going to be removed here. I assumed red was going to fight me for some reason. Uh, but let's see what, what white decides to do. He does have a turn in. He probably doesn't hit my seven. Okay, cool. He does hit my seven to go back into red. No, he's just going to fight me. Okay, they're both fighting me. Oh, shoot. Okay, I thought white wanted to work with me because white was having so much trouble with green. I thought by doing this psycho kill on green, I would endear myself to white. Instead, white for some reason thinks I'm the enemy. I did everything for white. I was the homie and he doesn't uh, reciprocate. So red should almost certainly win then because I can't go fight red by myself. I mean, White's gonna fight both of us. White's just a beginner. I thought White was actually like, this guy's probably like a master player. I had him totally wrong. I thought White was gonna be a really strong player. But I think I had that, I think I was way off on that. I think. I mean, because I don't think a Grandmaster would fight both of us simultaneously. I think that's a recipe for death. Um, I should go fight Red, though. Um, just, I mean, because, you know, probably should. Get you real big. Let's go break a bunch of red. Because I'm such a homie. You know how I am. Oh! I'm such a homie. Now, this guy with five cards. You know, he'll take that cap back. Whatever. I'm still being a homie to white, even though he obviously was, was not so super homie to me. Let's see how red decides to handle this. Because I'm trying to get first place. He leaves me alone. He goes for white. Yeah, white's the sucker. White's got like a... He could still have like a 50, 40 to 50 on cap over here, though. So just full sending on white might not be the winning play for red. This cap I'm intentionally keeping open. I know that there's a cap right here. I'm, I'm paying attention to this. It doesn't look like he's killing white. So white is not a homie, so I should try to kill him. I was going to let him live on like... If he had like 20 troops here... Like, this is how big of a homie I am. I thought he had 20 troops here. I'm like, let's let him live so that he can get a trade in and then help me beat red. Like, that's how big of a homie I was going to be. But white does not share that same vision. And so consider yourself slammed, you noob. <laughs> let's see what white starts with. It's not going to be a lot. Red has decided to target him. 
Okay. So I actually don't have to like do anything anymore. If these two are gonna fight each other, I don't think I have to do very much. Oh, tough. Very tough, White. Should have been a homie. <laughs> Should have been a homie. But that's all right. How did White interpret what I was doing to Green? I was obviously going psycho for Green, but I guess if White was a stronger player, they would have taken the kill on Green themselves, and then been able to immediately help me fight Rad. Is this, I mean, how much white could there be? Am I gonna feed white to red? That's like the ultimate shame. Okay, they're there. All right, that's all I wanna do for now. I'll just leave my eight in your face, whatever. <laughs> just leave an eight in your face. So white does have that cap strong. Red did get very strong. Now red is gonna hit me, interesting. They're taking, they're taking turns. Every other turn it's me, every other turn it's them. Does red actually have all of this? I'm quite curious. Okay, he just takes this cap back. He takes all of this. So he's getting 32. Is this the end of white? Did red somehow get back here and take all of this? Okay. Hey, white, I still think we should be fighting red. Just That's just me. Yeah, he even hits me out of there. Okay, if this was... Oh, he wants to do a hit here. He wants to do a hit here that I don't see. He's coming in this way. So white has this cap, and they got like 20-something on it. And I mean, red must have taken like a, a big giant chunk of this, this board here. So I have two caps. White has one, that means red has the other three. So plus seven. Wait, why is he able to hold this bone? Oh, he's, what? Does he still have another cap? That's impossible. Somebody has three, and I have two. Okay. So he's going this way, and he's gonna break red over here. Okay. So my job should be to break red, like, in here as much as possible, but we know that there's a cap here. Without going through white, I can't break a lot of red. And I'm actually buried. This uh, stack here, this cap is actually now quite buried, which is frustrating. Or is it? I can come this way, can't I? If I'm willing to open this cap, I can sweep in. But I'm not willing. I'm gonna break white and red. That's what White would have done. He would have broken both of us. Okay, so I'm just gonna hit this guy, you know, as much as I can. And then I'm gonna leave my two there out of frustration. And that's gonna be the end of my turn. I have a strong cap, so I'm fine. 26 for red. That should be enough to kill White. I didn't have a turn in, otherwise I could have probably killed White. So I think red kills White, and then they might be able to just win this game. Okay, attacks we don't see are all in here, so they are removing a bunch of whites. They won't get a turn in for killing white. Uh, insane cap run? What do you think? Because this can come this way to come get this cap over here. So I'd have to come here, I'd have to... How would, a cap run would be I come here, I steal this cap. Oh my god, red is huge. No, red, there's simply no way. He loses a lot, okay. So, I mean, he's got to have, like, 100 on cap. He's got 50-something on cap here, and he gets the elimination on white. I kind of have to go for a psycho cap run, or I don't think that I have a chance. Okay, psycho cap run, here we come. What was on here? It's like a 10 or a 20 or something. Okay. Oh, I don't have a turn in. Oh, wait, I can't even, I can't even psycho cap run. Yeah, because that's a 30 cap. I mean, I think we need to break these bonuses. That's also a 30 cap. Um, there's a cap here, which we can't really break. Okay, that's like all we can do. But there's there's not like a great place to put these troops. I have to put them back on cap. Uh, so they get to turn in before me. Now they should be able to set up an easy card block in like a one like a one square card block against me. But let's see, maybe it's not so easy to do when I have five cards. Ah, uh, they're gonna go for it. Are they gonna go for, like, the, the camp run? Wait, why does the leader only have... Four? Four out of six? Oh, because I have two. I was like, where's the other cap? Yeah, Red just goes for a cap run and wins. No, he doesn't cap run. What's his problem? Well, there you go! Um, a very fun and interesting game of... <laughs> progressive on this map hopefully this made this map at least fun for you um obviously we took some humongous risks they didn't all pay out white was a master bro <laughs>
Oh, I did have you pegged as a master, but then, bro, you kind of, a little bit of you inside makes me think that you were a novice. We could have worked together, bro. Anyways, if you want to learn how to work together with people, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hope you like these settings, and I'll see you guys for the next video.